and welcome to another time for tea designs video i hope you're all really well and having a great day today's video was recorded during our facebook live and we did have a little visitor um as can happen during a live recording um rosie decided to come and investigate and try and get involved um so i did think i'd leave this bit in because she was very very cute bless her um but uh, she did have to have to go so that we could get on with some crafting so on we go um so in the video today i'm going to be using uh, some of the products here and i was really in the mind of just treating ourselves a little bit because the weather is so so cold at the moment and we're all in full lockdown here in the uk so um i just wanted to do something that was a bit more um a bit bright and cheerful and um represented us just giving ourselves a little little treat so I'm going to use the Treat Yourself stamp set as um, it, the title um, really does <laughs> suggest what we're going for. But also the Bearing Gifts stamp set, which has all these cute little accessories, um, little cakes and things that would be work, would work perfectly. I also thought that I might use the Speech Bubble stamp set. This is a really cool set that has lots of sentiments in Speech Bubbles. And that's because I'm going to use our speech bubble stencil as our background. So I'm going to do a bit of ink blending and look at um, some rainbow um, ink blending through that stencil. And initially, I did think that we would do this on an A6 size card base. But I do change my mind on that once we've finished our stenciling. So I've removed my usual mat um, so that I can use this um, smoother surface um, and it's much easier to wipe clean. And I've attached my stencil to my super smooth card using some washi tape so that it doesn't shift around. I've selected um, a rainbow um, combination of colours from my Distress Oxide inks. And of course, I'm using our new Rainbow Beautiful Blender brushes. Um, they're perfect for this really inspired by the rainbow colors at the moment so I started with the abandoned coral and um, moved into some carved pumpkin and then the uh, mustard seed and I did feel that the um, the mustard seed and the carved pumpkin got a little bit lost um, once they blended together so in the end I decided that I would deepen the orange but then bring down some of that um, abandoned coral just to make that a more intense um, orange look. So in the end, I didn't manage to fit my purple onto the uh, onto the background and complete um, my rainbow. But I was really pleased with um, how this turned out. It was so bright and so cheerful and was exactly what I was going for. So um, once I've laid down all of my colour, I'm just going to remove one side of my washi tape to create a hinge on the opposite side before I lift that up to reveal what we've done. And I was really happy, like I say, so I was able to remove the other side of my stencil and clean that up. Like I say, it was at this point then, because I didn't want to lose any of that lovely ink blending that I decided we'll go for a square card. So I'm using the quilted uh, square nesting dies to cut out um, part of that design. So I've used almost the, the um, as big a die as I could really, um, but I did want to cut off some of the edges so it looked like our pattern went off the edge of the page. And I have there um, quite a large square card base. I think it's an eight by eight um, card base. So we will cut that down to the size that we want um, because I didn't have any other card bases that, that fit the size of panel that we'd created. Before I stamped out all of my images, I just wanted to see which ones I was wanting to use and whereabouts I wanted to place them on our background panel. So I'm taking um, all the different uh, stamps that I think might fit um, with our theme and twisting around my, my panel there just to see if I want to change the orientation of those speech bubbles because of course you can use it any way you like it's entirely up to you uh, I'm also picking out some of the stamps from the bearing gift stamp set to see which ones work together 
um, and which ones might fit because like I say I would quite like some of them to fit within the speech bubbles particularly the sentiments that I'm going to use and as I um, played around a little bit and fiddled around a bit um, I decided that we would go for more of a sweet theme rather than some of the other treats that are in the set like the pizza slice the sandwich and the um, hot dog so I, I exchanged those out um, and changed those for um, for the sweet type treats I added a sentiment of sweet friend which goes with the theme and I also added the treat yourself sentiment as well as the nom 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 um, because I felt that went really well I also added in there a couple of our little characters the little mouse and um, just the little head of the mouse that fit perfectly in one of those little uh, speech bubbles and then the little mouse that's leaping so that was pretty much the um i think the the kind of um setup that i wanted it does change a little bit at the end because i couldn't quite remember where i'd put everything um if i was doing this um and i wasn't filming with my camera at the same time i probably would have taken a picture of where i'd put everything and placed everything on my background so that I would remember when I came to construct it at the end but not to worry um, I have first of all popped down those sentiments and I'm going to stamp those directly onto my background using my Versafine Onyx Black ink and then we will stamp out all of our images now thankfully a lot of um, our eagle-eyed viewers on the live remembered where I'd placed some of these images so they were really helpful when it came to um to thinking about what colors i wanted to use and where i wanted to pop them in the final final piece but like i say some of them did move around a little bit once um i'd got them all stamped and die cut i'm using my memento tuxedo black ink to stamp out all of my images here onto our super smooth alcohol marker friendly cardstock so just going to stamp that out um, I did actually stamp them a couple of times just to make sure that I got a really crisp image um, but uh, I'll just show you the ones here um, as you don't really need to see me do that twice I'm colouring all of my images with my Copic markers um, and I'm just keeping the colouring really quite simple because they are small images so I have zoomed in and I've also um, sped this up quite a bit because during the live we did take a bit of time to do this and like I say there are a number of little images here and I did do them in um, some really colourful um, shades because I wanted that to match our rainbow theme of our background but I absolutely loved doing this this is my this is just what I love to do is to sit and colour so to stamp out all of these images grab your markers or whatever coloring medium you prefer and then just sit and color them in in these lovely bright shades um it's just it was just so much fun and i really was um finding it difficult to concentrate on comments and what people were saying and to color at the same time because i was so much enjoying what i was doing so my plan um here was to try and color the accent color or the um the the main color um for some of the images to match the part of the background that they would be sitting in now this is quite difficult like i say because i couldn't quite remember where some of them were going to go um but for the most part i think i got this this pretty much right um <laughs> um like i say the the guys that were um were watching the live they could remember some of where i'd decided things to go and because there is an overlap um because as you move through the design um we've got we've created that ombre effect um as we've blended from one color to the next i could take a little bit of artistic license and as long as i'd got some of the the colors right then it, it did seem to to work out um I added a little bit of green into my strawberry because I seem to remember my strawberry was going to be down in the green area of our blending um, but obviously I wanted my strawberry to be red because strawberries are 
but if they're not quite ripe then they're a little bit green so that was my theory behind that i did um a rainbow uh, sweetie bag because i felt that that would work really well but then i kept the sweets in there just to the two colors of yellow and green as i felt that that would fit with the background where they would sit my cake i absolutely loved coloring my cake i did it as a rainbow cake again that would fit anywhere on the card so that was really cool and then for my little muffin i just used a combination of uh, red and orange to color in the cupcake case we had a little vote and we decided that the mice should be in shades of the warm gray which i think is a nice neutral color uh, warm gray is really nice for critters because it's um I think it's just because it's warmer i think it gives that illusion of them being living creatures rather than the the cool grace can sometimes feel a little bit more appropriate to inanimate objects and metal so um colored those in the warm gray and then added a little bit of pink to their ears and they were super easy to color and look really really cute i had a darker green to the to the sprinkles on top of my donut as i felt that the paler green had just blended back too much once it had dried and that was all of those colored and ready to die cut so i'm just using my washi tape to uh, attach my um, coordinating dies and then we'll pop that through the die cutting machine i love the way that these die cut all of them have that little uh, white board around the edge the donut even has the center cut out which is great because that means you can see the background through the center of the donut which looks so much better and so much more realistic um, and they'd all die cut perfectly so um was really happy with with how they turned out i'm now just going to trim down that card base that i mentioned before so i'm using my um tonic trimmer here and and i'm just really eyeballing it but when it came to it the, it actually fit exactly against the outer line which is about six inches i believe um so i just did that same um measurement uh, across both sides because obviously we want a square card so just lining it up in exactly the same place and then cutting it meant that i'd got the perfect size border around the outside of our background panel and i like um this chunky white border around the outside i just think it looks really um effective um and is a, a really great backdrop to the bright colors that we've got in the center so now i'm lining up all of my images again in completely the wrong place as you can see so we do i do a little bit of jigging around to get things back where um almost where we had them originally <laughs> um some of them like i say have moved but i quite like the way that they ended up i think that worked out better than how i how i'd had it in the first place but i think um that can sometimes be the case once you've colored your images and you can see how they would actually look rather than the way that the stamps look it does mean that you you know you're likely to make a bit of a change i liked my little um my little mouse there in the center rather than to one side and um, so that did mean that i changed around the the donut and the muffin a little bit just to accommodate him but i think that worked out really really well in the end i wanted to add some dimension to each of my little characters now so for each of the images so i'm using our um thin foam roll tape um which comes in a huge roll um but is great for for things like this it just needed a little bit of tape on the back of each of those images just to give them the right amount of dimension so that they um stand out from uh, those speech bubbles in the background i also wanted to add some dimension to my background panel so i thought the easiest way of doing this would be to use the same square nesting die that i used for the background panel to cut out some foam some craft foam now the force of my gemini machine did stretch that that foam a little bit so i'm just trimming off the very edges across two sides um just to make that a little bit smaller um so that when i add it to the original panel it doesn't poke out of the sides 
and that worked perfectly um, and I'm going to use some of my liquid glue now just squiggling that over the back of that panel to attach that to the foam and the foam works really really well for, for this because rather than adding lots of bits of foam tape on the back and maybe you having gaps um, this just creates a, a really solid um, background uh, to add that perfect amount of dimension to your your panel again some squiggles of glue across the back of the uh, foam and then i can attach that in place um, in the center of our card base finishing touches now um you know i love my jelly roll pen so i'm going to add some highlights to all of our images with um with that jelly roll pen this is um a size 08 pen and i just think it adds just that perfect little touch um i don't know what it is it just makes it seem a little bit more um like an illustration it adds a bit more character i'm not even really applying the highlights where a highlight might actually be in a lot of cases but I, I, for some reason it just works um this is a red glaze pen and I thought that would be a nice touch for the top of our muffin there for those little sprinkles on there and then my black glaze pen is perfect to add a little bit of shine and extra dimension to the eyes for all of our characters um, because it does just make those stand out that little bit more. I use some of my stickles now. I love using my stickles on ice cream because it just makes it look frosty um so yes this is the stardust stickles um and i decided to just add some of that as well to the top of the cake um as icing and then finally i do have a clear glaze pen here from um secura and this is great for adding a little bit of glaze dimension to really small areas where perhaps your glossy accents might be a bit too uh, too thick so for the nose for the sweets and for the sprinkles on top of um, our donut it's perfect now I did want to add some extra embellishments and I found these um, from Twiddler's Nook we did used to sell them I think they're out of stock now um, and it, it's unlikely we'll be able to get them back in so I, I am sorry but you can get them from Twiddler's Nook direct um, I believe it is she she's on Etsy um, a great little shop um, and these are really fun little clay sprinkles and they're in rainbow colors so what would be better than that um, some little hearts um, in all the colors that we've used in our background the pink is a bit pinker than we've actually used but it still worked really well it meant that it stood out that little bit from our um, abandoned coral ink in the background um, and I haven't necessarily used the same colour where I've um, ink blended, but um, in some cases I have because I liked the tone on tone look. Um, but you can see that I've got blue on green. I've got a yellow that's gone just into the um, orange area. And then I finished off with a little yellow heart in the top corner there. We did have some requests for an insert and I don't always do an insert but um, I'll just show you quickly what I did um, with the insert here and I just kept it really simple using the same shades of ink that we'd used on the outside of our card. I stamped um, a donut and the you're the best sentiment from the speech bubble stamp set and then these hearts um, in speech bubbles are also from that set and I just used three of our colors for that i did color in the donut with some colored pencils um, you could do that you could leave it blank you could use some watercolors to color that in um, you could even use your copic markers if you wanted but i just wanted to keep it really simple for for the project uh, today i absolutely loved making this card it was so much fun to do the colors i think are just so cheerful and did just help me forget that we have got about four inches of snow outside which i know is not a lot by some people's standards but for us here it's unusual and it's cold but i forgot all about that because of this lovely cheerful rainbow card 
I really hope that uh, our card today has inspired you to do some rainbow ink blending um, and thank you so much for joining me today if you did like the video it would be great if you could like and subscribe to our channel as always we we like to encourage you to do that um, and do hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on future videos we do also do a Facebook live every Thursday evening um, over on Facebook at eight o'clock and that's UK time and we'd love it if you could join us and craft along with us there and at the end of this video there will be some other videos suggested that you might like thank you again for joining me and I'll see you again for another video really soon bye now